So in this video, I'll be exploring another question involving ionization energies in combination with electron configurations. So the question we'll be looking at today is going to be over here. And um, I'll just be providing a simplified explanation or a more clear explanation than the one provided here. So we're basically given a graph of uh, the ionization energies of aluminum. So uh, on the x-axis, we have the ionization number. So this is the number of the electron being removed. And the ionization energy, which is just from small to large, is given on the y-axis. And we're, we're um, given this question in which it asks us to explain why there's a large increase between the ninth and 10th ionization energies. So the best way to approach this question is first to look at this graph. So you see there's a significant increase starting from this uh, fairly linear trend from the 7th, 8th, and 9th ionization energies towards the 9th and 10th, and then it becomes uh, sort of linear again. So there's interesting that there's mm, sort of a, a, a large increase from the 9th and 10th energy levels. And so we want to explore why this is. So first we want to draw the electron configuration of uh, aluminum. So it has a uh, atomic number of 13. So we want to draw the electron configuration. So we have the 3s, 3p, and the 4s. So we have 1, 2, we won't be needing the 4s, but 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So for a neutral aluminum atom, we have 1s2, 2s2. 6, 3s2, and then 3p1. So we're basically, uh, we have two different kind of reactions that are happening. We have the ninth ionization energy, which is going to be uh, the Al8+. Uh, we're removing one uh, electron from this, so we're going to have Al9+, plus, plus an electron. And then we have the tenth ionization energy, which is the taking the, uh, the existing uh, aluminum ion, the aluminum cation, which already has nine electrons removed, and we're removing one more. So we have Al10 plus, plus an electron. And we want to find the kind of initial configurations of these two. So let's say Al8 plus is here, Al9 plus is here. So we're removing eight electrons from this neutral atom, right? So eight. So this is one, this is three, and then we're eight. So we're left with the 2p1. So 1s2, 2s2, and then 2p1. So the valence electron is going to come from the 2p subshell. So this, the electron that's going to be removed is going to be from 2p. Electron removed from 2p sublevel. And we want to do the same for this. Uh, the Al9 plus ion is going to just be a 1s2 and a 2s2 because we're removing this electron from the 2p subshell uh, in this above reaction. And I guess I could label the states. These are gases. And the reason they're gases is because the definition of ionization energy um, asserts that these, uh, these elements must be in a gaseous state. So uh, when we remove an electron from this, we'll be removing it from uh, the 2s sublevel. So electron removed from 2s sublevel. And we want to prove why is this, why is there such a big jump from the ninth ionization energy, which seems to follow the fairly linear pattern um, from these previous uh, ionization energies for, for the sixth and the seventh. Um, and why is there such a large jump? So why is the ionization energy increasing from here to here? What is causing this increase? So I think the most important thing to look at is just the sublevels. So the 2p sublevel, let's, just, let's, say it's, let's say it's here, okay? The 2p. It's quite far from the nucleus. Um, it's fairly high energy in comparison to the 2s sublevel meaning that the attractive, the electrostatic force that's being exerted onto this 2p electron is not as strong as the 2s. Let's say the 2s is here, okay? Uh, this is sort of a gross simplification, but you'll have to do. So this 
is much higher energy than this, meaning that it's much easier to liberate. Uh, and the 2s is going to be harder to liberate because it has a stronger uh, electrostatic force, uh, electrostatic attraction towards the, um, the positively charged nucleus. So the ionization energy will thus be very, very high for the, uh, for the 10th ionization energy. So that's pretty much the answer to this question. To recap, what we've done is first we identified the neutral configuration of the aluminum atom. Then we wrote two equations representing the ninth ionization energy and the tenth ionization uh, energy or number. Then we broke down um, the equations, took its initial configuration prior to the electron being removed, uh, and we wrote down the electron configurations of um, each of the cations, the Al8+, plus and the Al9+. Plus. And then we identified, after removing the electron, um, you know, which sub-level the electron would come from. And we did that for both. And we identified that the 2p is higher, has a higher energy, so it's more easily liberated due to the weaker electrostatic force. And that concludes why there's such a large ionization energy jump from the ninth and 10th, because we're moving down a whole sublevel. And that's going to be it for this video.